Today, we're going to show you how to install Muse Vinyl Cutter drivers in LXI 12, Flexi 12, and the Flexi 19 software. If you have LXI 19, the Muse Vinyl Cutter drivers are pre-installed. The Muse setup video shows you how to get started in LXI 19. To begin, browse to the Muse Vinyl Cutter Support Resources page on our Assign Warehouse Product Support blog. You can start at techsupport.signwarehouse.com. Then mouse over Vinyl Cutters, then click Muse. On the Muse Vinyl Support Resources page, scroll past the setup video to the LXI and Flexi Support section. Choose the appropriate software and click the link to download the driver package. This is in a zipped folder. Download the folder and open or extract it to access the files. Before you begin, make sure Production Manager is closed. You cannot add device drivers using this method while Production Manager is active. Now open the C drive, or the drive on which you've installed LXI 12 or your Flexi application. We're going to keep the desktop or downloads window open as well to make it easier to copy the files we need. In the C drive window, Browse to the Program Files x86 folder. This is where your LXI or Flexi application is installed. If you're updating LXI, search for the Cyan Warehouse folder. If you're updating a Flexi license, search for the SAI folder. Since we're updating Flexi 19, we'll open the SAI folder. Open the SAI or LXI Production Suite 19 or Production Suite 12 folder for your application. Now, scroll down and open the Output Drivers folder. Scroll down and find in the root directory a file called pmcutter.dll. This file will need to be replaced. There are two important tips here. One, if you simply copy the pmcutter.dll file from our download or desktop folder, and paste it over the one in the C drive, you may get a warning from Windows about overwriting the file. If you say yes to overwrite it, you may think you've succeeded, but often the old file is not actually overwritten. To avoid this puzzling problem, rename or delete the existing PMCutter DLL file. For practical purposes, it's better to rename it. That way, if anything goes wrong, you can always restore the function by renaming it back to its original state. In this case, we're going to rename it pmcutter.backup. Or we can just name it pmcutter.old. Now, all we have to do is copy the pmcutter.dll and muse.enc files from the desktop to the output drivers folder. You can drag them from one window to the other, but this means they're no longer in the original download location. I like to copy and paste so that the patch files are preserved for future use. Copy pmcutter.dll and paste it into the output drivers folder. Then do the same to the muse.enc file. Now, all you have to do is open Production Manager. Click Add Setup to add the drivers. In this case, since we don't have any drivers installed, the prompt is automatic. Choose Cutters, then under the What is the brand name of your vinyl cutter window, click the arrow to open the menu and scroll down to Muse. Click Muse. Then from the lower window, select the driver for the Muse model you've purchased. We're going to select M24. Click Next. Now, we need to choose the port setting. Under the How is your Muse connected to your PC window, we'll scroll down to find USB underscore printer underscore one. Always use this naming convention for USB connection. It supports correct 
print and cut operation as shown in segment 11A of the Muse setup video. Now you're all set. Your Muse final cutter drivers have been correctly added to LXI 12, Flexi 12, or Flexi 19, and you're ready to go.